Well, what's up, guys? On this episode of Tim's Garage, I'm actually going to be doing a project on one of my cars, and that is to get rid of this nasty scratch that somehow magically appeared on our Mini Cooper, black Mini Cooper. Love it when scratches happen on black cars because that white clear coat scratch really shows up. Um, anyway, so my wife was driving this. She came home and she's like, look at this scratch that's on here. She had no idea where it came from. Um, she never does, but this stuff always seems to happen when she's driving. Not sure why, uh, but it just so happens that when she's driving, there's scratches, there's dents. The car has flat tires, you name it, it always happens to her, but whatever, I digress. I'm going to get this scratch fixed up today. Now, I was looking at this, and it's actually pretty deep scratch. I can, I can catch it with my nail, um, but it almost looks like somebody keyed the car. Uh, so I don't know if she's got some enemies or something, but we're going to try to work through getting this scratch out. Normally taking this to a body shop would be pretty intensive. They would take off, uh, the whole, uh, hood here, which is what this is on, uh, repaint it and everything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a proven method that I've searched on YouTube. And that is just sanding it, lightly sanding it myself, and then buffing the absolute crap out of it until it's smoothed out. So what I have is a sanding block, a light sanding block that I've used for some body projects in the past. And this is a fine 180 grit sanding block. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this wet and then I'm going to lightly sand up and down on that area to smooth out the clear coat. And you just do it in a small area around the scratch. And then you kind of blend it in. And once the scratch is smoothed out, then I'm going to take this awesome Meguiar's polishing compound and just keep applying it to my little hand buffer that I had for a while um, that I picked up for exactly this kind of project and just buff and buff and buff and buff and buff until the scratch is gone. So here's our before and we'll see what it looks like afterward. Um, and I'm going to get started. Uh, yeah, I'm working on the scratch. All right. Now, before you do any sanding to the scratch, you're gonna to want to clean the area, which I've already done, just get any extra debris and dust off of there, and then do some blue masking tape just around the area of the scratch so you're not working that sanding into any area that doesn't need to be sanded. Now I'm gonna take my block, and I got some water right here, and I'm just gonna get it wet so it's damp and, and dripping and kind of give it a squeeze, and then I'm just gonna Work on the scratch just a little bit here, like this. All right, so I just keep rubbing up and down on the scratch here, working my way down, just giving a little bit of pressure. And as I do that, every now and then I'll come by and just kind of wipe the water off and take a look at where we're at. And um, you can kind of see here the area is starting to turn gray from scuffing of the uh, sandpaper, which is kind of what we want. And again, I'm trying to keep it between these two pieces of tape and not go any further than that, because this will be what I have to buff. Um, you can still see there's a little bit of the line left, so I'm just gonna keep working that uh, until it's pretty much smooth. This scratch was pretty deep, um, but it looks like it didn't go into the paint, so that's a good sign. So again, what I'm doing is just trying to even out the divot that was created by the scratch in the clear coat to smooth out that area and then buff this line out uh, once we're done. So I'm just gonna keep at this for a little bit while longer until I get that divot nice and smooth and then we'll take the tape off and see how it looks. All right guys, so you can see here, I've got the tape removed and you can see my little scuffed area. Now this is pretty nice and smooth. Again, not perfect because I'm doing this at home but better than nothing. Um, so now it's all scuffed up with the tape off and it, now the next step is to actually just kind of buff it out. And again, I'm gonna use this uh, Meguiar's compound here. Um, I'm gonna take an initial rub on it just with my hand and then I'm gonna use my uh, buffing wheel. So let's get started. The way I like to do it is just apply some to the area and then just do counterclockwise motion across the area. I'm just kind of work in that polish a little bit. Now keep in mind what we did is just scuffed up all of the clear coat that's around this. So we should be able to smooth that all out with this polishing compound.
All right, so the buffing is complete. Um, as you can see, there's still a little bit of the mark there, just a small indentation, but you can barely notice it uh, depending on the angle that you're at. Um, have to say it looks pretty good, nice and shiny. Uh, again, I'm not a professional body body worker, so um, if I wanted to get that scratch completely removed, honestly, it was pretty deep. They, they would actually sand it down and repaint the entire hood. So for what I could do in my garage, I have to say it looks pretty good. Uh, much better than it did before. Just a little sanding and then maybe about 20, 25 minutes of buffing, and now it's completely smooth. So we'll call uh, fixing the scratch on the Mini Cooper hood done.